Hey guys, this is a video review of the Neo Zeon Mobile Suit Sazabi version Ka, part of the Mobile Suit Gundam Shars Counter Attack movie. Here we see a nice picture of the Sazabi and a faded out picture of him on the side, looking like he's flying, about to get into battle. Um and on the bottom right, it says Master Grade Version Ka, along with the name of the pilot, Shar Aznable. And it says a mobile suit for new type. And it states the year UC 93 Neozeon. Um, and on the top of the box, you can see it says the same thing Neozeon MSN 04 Mobile Suit Suzabi. Vision Ka, and here we also see the name of the pilot, Shar Asdable, and it says it's a mobile suit for new types, and it says Gundam models designed and produced by Ka. Um, this is my first time with a version Ka figure, I mean, model kit, but uh, I'm sure I'll be good nonetheless. Um, here we can see a picture of uh, the Sasabi about to um, shoot someone or fly into battle. And here we see a picture of the backside of the Suzabi. Now the wigs aren't quite as big as the Sinanju, but he does have these tubes sticking out the back just like it. Um, yeah. And here we see a picture of the Suzabi on the side. I like the Darth Vader style helmet with the big shoulder pads and the large legs and the long rifle and the shield now this has been a figure I've been wanting to get for years ever since I purchased a, a Sinanju I always found the Sazabi much more impressive looking and a lot cooler I actually have the high grade S S Sinanju which comes with a ton of stickers. Hopefully this won't need as many stickers to look like the picture, but here's the other side. Uh, here we can see the long rifle and the short rifle and the shield and his beam, beam swords. Here are the funnels, which it looks like they fold out. Again, we see a picture of the front and the back. And here we see what looks like various gimmicks of the fig for the figure. Here we can see the head opening up. Um, I think this is the shoulder opening up. Um, these are probably the side skirts. This is the hand. Uh, these are probably the wings. Um, probably the butt flap, but I'm not sure. Um, leg thrusters, I think. And, uh, not sure what this part is. Probably the knees. And here we can see, on the other side, um, Neo Zeon. Again, the same thing as the front. This picture of him flying. And a picture of the suits in this neutral pose. And it also says, Mobile Suits Suzabi, version Ka, with the name of the pilot. And it says it's for new types and made by... Ka. And it's pretty much the same thing on the other side. And you can see the nice blue fin sticker right here. Uh, they're the, they're the, sorry, they're the distributors of Gundam in the United States. Um, the bottom. Um, I'm not sure if this did it come like this. In the factory, um, you can see the bottom of the box is brown. Um, I usually don't like this because this cardboard material isn't very waterproof. I usually kind of like the glossy um, bottom sections on the real grade kits, but it does look like it fits the box nicely. I'll have to be careful with the bottom of this. Ah, but that's it for the box. So... Let me get my camera into position. Let's see. All 
right. Take off the top. And we can see all the parts. This is probably the shield, or at least the black outer part of it. Um, these, I think, are probably his shoulders or feet. Uh, this is definitely the inner frame. Uh, there's not much gray on the outside. Maybe to break up the monotony of the figure, but not a whole lot of gray on the outside. Um, these almost look like polycaps. Uh, no, these are actually the thrusters. Um, I'm not sure why some are so small. I mean, I've seen this figure completely built, and it's pretty big. And here we see uh, the rifles. Or just one of them. The halves of it. Um, wonder if they could have made a whole rifle with 3D printers. Bandai. But, um, we do see some very solid pieces. Uh, probably this goes with these pieces as part of the shoulder of the feet. Uh, there's actually a lot in here. Uh, this bot kit quite, costed me quite a bit, but probably, probably the sheer amount of plastic is why it cost so much. Uh, that and the fact that Suzabi is probably very popular with Gundam fans and in Japan. Um, here we see a much darker red on these pieces. Um, nice to see some different shades of the same color on a mobile suit. Um, even though it's supposedly, the colors are supposedly the same shade, it really gives the figure more, makes the figure pop out more. And here we see the sh same shade of red. And here we see what's probably the regular shade of red. Um, probably the, these are the shoulders or something. Um, let's see, hold on. This is definitely part of the shield, you can tell. Um, this, um, not sure what these are. Um, there's a lot of red parts going before the shoulders and feet. There sure are a lot. Um, this is probably for the beam sword, which kind of looks like a cross between the axe and the lightsaber, but, um, I'll see how cool this once I assemble the figure. Uh, here we can see some, these are probably inner frame parts with shiny paint, and we see some gray right here. This is probably also the inner frame. Um, here, um, these are definitely poly caps. Um, they're not as big as I thought they'd be. I mean, on like a perfect grade, they'd be huge, but this figure is also pretty huge. So maybe these are for like a few joints here and there, and most of the articulation is comes from the inner frame. Um, here we see more gray parts and silver. Uh, these are probably to outline some of the parts, I think. Um, I haven't seen the Sananju enough to know where these go, but... I'll, fi I'll, fi I'll, fi sorry. I'll find out soon enough. Um, this... Um, pretty sure this is probably part of the shield, too. Um, it's missing the Neo Zeon symbol, but um, I'll definitely put it on there. I mean, I usually don't like to put a lot of unnecessary stickers, but it's pretty... The Neo Zeon symbol is pretty iconic to the um, Zeon suits in the Universal Century, so that'll definitely go on. Um, these are probably more pieces of his arms or feet. Um, yeah. So let's take a look at the instruction booklet. Well, here are the instructions for the body. I'm sure... Um, this whole thing? The 
the first part. Um, I'm not sure what parts... Usually it says what parts you need for this section, but... I don't see where it's been stated. Um, so I guess I'll just have to take like all the... Usually when I build, if I see like the M parts here, I'll just take the... Try to remember all these letters and take those runners when I try to build the figure. Um, yeah. That's pretty much how you how the body is built. I'm pretty sure it's this is easier seen than actually done, but I'm I'm sure I'm sure it won't be too difficult. Um, this is these are the tubes. This is the head. Um, I think a green sticker is supposed to go. In here somewhere for the eye um, or maybe this is just a green part probably maybe not but we can see um, how to build the arms um, the arm part doesn't look too bad although a lot of these instructions you have to double up on so it's, tw it's actually twice the work to follow the instructions for the arms but At least it doesn't go over two pages. Um, here, are probably the details of the upper body. Um, here it shows you how to attach the arms. Um, I think usually you try to get the upper body done and then the lower part of the mobile suit done. Of course, it always shows you to build the figure with all the outer parts on the inner frame. Um, would be interesting to see for once a instructions that tell you to build the inner frame first. I mean, besides on a real grade. Actually, I think the real grade has you put the parts on too, but would be nice to see the inner how to assemble the inner frame without the outer bits. Um, here we can see the instructions for the legs, which are pretty cool. Uh, now these are pretty nicely drawn. Actually, almost looks like you're looking at a real machine. So this inner frame looks very impressive. Um, here we can see how to apply the back portion of the leg and the backpack on the other page. Um, this shows you how to attach the, uh, this is, I think this is where the thrusters go. Now, the thrusters are pretty small, so I guess he needs a lot of thrusters on his backpack. And here it shows you how to finally assemble it. Um, I guess you should build the backpack and the feet and the lower, t the lower body before attaching everything together. Um, hmm, interesting. Transformation system. That's odd. Probably not a full-blown alt mode, just probably like a mode with everything folded out or something like that. What the? Sorry, that bit was a bit tricky. Um, for some reason, they folded these two pages together. Not sure why. Probably because the weapons are usually done last, and you usually do the main figure first. Um, I suppose that makes people slack off and not want to, like, customize the weapons with paint or decals. Um, yeah, but the weapons still look pretty good. And here we see how to apply the stickers. Very colorful. Yeah, so that's it for the instructions. Very much look forward to building this. Well, that's it for this unboxing. Um, be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash legendantihero. 
and add me on Facebook at facebook.com slash legend antihero. You can also be sure to sorry. Also be sure to check out my Instagram, which is let my handle on Instagram is legendary antihero. And I also go on TFW two thousand five as Legend Antihero. Well, take care.